Nearly 40% of Britons carry high cholesterol in their blood, making it one of the most prevalent health conditions among adults in the UK. Having high levels of LDL cholesterol, often called the bad cholesterol, in your blood drastically increases your chances of having a stroke or heart attack, which is why it's essential to keep cholesterol levels balanced. Those who are diagnosed with high cholesterol levels are typically suggested to alter their diet and increase their exercise intake, but sometimes this isn't enough, which is why many healthcare professionals recommend also adding a good quality cholesterol supplement to help lower LDL cholesterol levels and increase good cholesterol. Look for a supplement with these ingredients. There are many excellent ingredients that help to reduce bad cholesterol, but some are better than others. I recommend looking for a supplement that has some, or all, of the following ingredients in its formula. 1. Plant sterols. Plant sterols help to maintain healthy cholesterol levels because they help to limit the amount of cholesterol that enters the body and reduce how much cholesterol the body produces. 2. Red rice yeast. Red yeast rice is a type of rice that has been fermented with yeast. 2. Studies have found that red yeast rice can help to reduce cholesterol because it contains monocolin K. Monocolin K is highly effective at lowering LDL cholesterol levels. 3. Bergamot. Research has discovered that bergamot, sometimes called citrus bergomia, can reduce LDL and triglycerides while increasing HDL cholesterol. 3. One study revealed that consuming 500 mg of bergamot can reduce bad cholesterol by 23% and increase good cholesterol by 25.9%. 4. Garlic. Studies have shown that taking 300 mg of garlic can help to reduce LDL by 16.3% and overall cholesterol by 12.4%. 4. Research also shows that it can help to promote heart health and reduce blood pressure. 1. If you have high cholesterol levels, changing your lifestyle can go a long way. 1. Limit unhealthy fats. Your body already makes all the saturated fat it needs and eating too much more can raise your cholesterol. Consuming fewer saturated fat sources, such as red meat and full-fat dairy products, can reduce your LDL cholesterol. Meanwhile, avoid trans fats, which are considered the most dangerous. Common sources include margarine, store-bought pastries, and anything that lists partially hydrogenated vegetable oil as an ingredient. 2. Get your omega-3s. Omega-3 fatty acids, commonly called omega-3s, don't negatively impact LDL cholesterol levels. They can, however, improve your cardiovascular health and reduce your risk of heart disease and stroke. So consider replacing fatty red meat with oily fish, such as salmon or mackerel. The American Heart Association recommends eating at least two servings of fish, ideally oily, per week. Vegetarian sources include flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. 3. Eat more fiber Many people know about the digestive benefits of consuming enough fiber. But did you know that fiber can play a key role in cholesterol health, too? Soluble fiber, in particular, can help by reducing the absorption of cholesterol in your bloodstream. Good sources include Brussels sprouts, oatmeal, apples, kidney beans, and pears. Replacing refined grain products with fiber-rich whole grains can help, too. 4. Cut back on added sugar A sugary diet can cause your liver to make more LDL cholesterol while lowering your HDL levels. Excess sugar can also raise your triglycerides and inhibit an enzyme that breaks them down. To prevent this, replace sugary fare with naturally sweet alternatives. 5. Limit alcohol Too much alcohol can lead to serious problems, such as high blood pressure, stroke, and heart failure. Large amounts of alcohol can raise your LDL levels. If you enjoy wine, beer, or cocktails, stick to moderate intake. Quit smoking. If you smoke, quitting the habit can improve your HDL levels quickly. Within 20 minutes of quitting, your heart rate and blood pressure will recover from spikes caused by tobacco. Within three months of quitting, your lungs will function better as your blood circulation improves. Within one year, your risk for heart disease will go down by half. 7. Exercise on most days. 
Engaging in moderate exercise can help raise your HDL cholesterol while boosting your overall cardiovascular health. If you're fairly sedentary now, start with small amounts, working your way up to 30 minutes of exercise five times each week. If you prefer more vigorous aerobic exercise, 20 minutes three times a week will suffice. 8. Develop healthy sleep habits. Sleeping too little is common but detrimental to your health. In fact, loss in sleep is associated with increased cholesterol levels and related problems, such as high triglycerides and blood pressure. 9. Drink more water. Staying well hydrated is important, especially while you exercise to improve your cholesterol levels. Replacing sugary drinks, such as soft drinks and concentrated juices, with water will lower your sugar intake. Add these foods to lower LDL cholesterol. Different foods lower cholesterol in various ways. Some deliver soluble fiber, which binds cholesterol and its precursors in the digestive system and drags them out of the body before they get into circulation. 1. An easy first step to lowering your cholesterol is having a bowl of oatmeal or cold oat-based cereal like Cheerios for breakfast. It gives you 1 to 2 grams of soluble fiber. Add a banana or some strawberries for another half gram. Current nutrition guidelines recommend getting 20 to 35 grams of fiber a day, with at least 5 to 10 grams coming from soluble fiber. Like oats and oat bran, barley and other whole grains can help lower the risk of heart disease, mainly via the soluble fiber they deliver. 3. Beans are especially rich in soluble fiber. They also take a while for the body to digest, meaning you feel full for longer after a meal. Can use from navy and kidney beans to lentils, garbanzos, black-eyed peas, and beyond, and so many ways to prepare them, beans are a very versatile food. 4. Eggplant and kra. These two low-calorie vegetables are good sources of soluble fiber. Nuts. A bushel of studies shows that eating almonds, walnuts, peanuts, and other nuts is good for the heart. Eating 2 ounces of nuts a day can slightly lower LDL, on the order of 5%. Nuts have additional nutrients that protect the heart in other ways. 6. Vegetable oils. Using liquid vegetable oils such as canola, sunflower, safflower, and others in place of butter, lard, or shortening when cooking or at the table helps lower LDL. Apple strawberries are rich in pectin, a type of soluble fiber that lowers LDL. Sterols and stanols extracted from plants gum up the body's ability to absorb cholesterol from food. Companies are adding them to foods ranging from margarine and granola bars to orange juice and chocolate. They're also available as supplements. Getting 2 grams of plant sterols or stanols a day can lower LDL cholesterol by about 10%. 9. Eating soybeans and foods made from them, like tofu and soy milk, was once touted as a powerful way to lower cholesterol. Analyzes show that the effect is more modest, consuming 25 grams of soy protein a day, 10 ounces of tofu or 2 and a half cups of soy milk, can lower LDL by 5% to 6%. Eating fish two or three times a week can lower LDL in two ways, by replacing meat, which has LDL-boosting saturated fats, and by delivering LDL-lowering omega-3 fats. Omega-3s reduce triglycerides in the bloodstream and also protect the heart by helping prevent the onset of abnormal heart rhythms. Thanks for watching.